going on. Amen. Well, praise God. Uh, God bless you guys. Um, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, uh, located in the great city of Radcliffe, Kentucky. Um, and again, this is uh, I guess this is my third time, um, you know, since all this stuff happened. It's my third time coming to you. And I would tell you this video stuff still hadn't got uh, any easier for me. <laughs> but glory to God anyway. Amen. I still come go ahead and do uh, what I do. Amen. But uh, this is not easy for me. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and so again, I, I bless God for an opportunity to, 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 to be before you and to come into your hearing. Um, amen. Our God is, 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 is faithful. And so again, welcome you and I, I thank you for uh, joining in. Amen. Um, well, as you know, i uh, been doing this again for three weeks. This is our third week. And uh, for those that's taking notes and following along pretty good, um, this is going to be part three of uh, That's My Attitude. That's My Attitude, part three. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, that minister. Amen. Um, and, and so uh, I'm, 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 I'm prayerful uh, that we've been receiving some nuggets and some, some things uh, for life. And I will tell you that um, this... Um, this type of instruction, you know, you hear me say that we don't, we don't, we don't usually get this, this type of instruction. And I say that because oftentimes we get, we get a lot of preaching and, and there's, there's nothing wrong with preaching, but, um, but we, 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 you know, we're finding out now, even in times like this, that we need something to stand on. We need some sustenance. Amen. We need to know, um, how to apply this word. And sometimes through emotions and the preachings of, of everything that we're hearing, we get excited and then we still don't really know how to fight. We still don't really know how to war. Amen. Uh, God bless you there, uh, Sister Thompson. Amen. Uh, amen. And so, uh, again, just, just, you know, this, this, just how we, we, we teach. And so, uh, so the teaching part is, is, is not really difficult. Amen. Because this is just like, you know, I'm at home, you know, in which, in which I am at home. Amen. So, the, you know, so the teaching part is not different for the line. Um, and I'll say this before I get started. One of the things that I was sharing with someone, um, and that is that, uh, for, for, for me or for discipling ministries, um, this thing of that's kind of going on around and, 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 and just, this has not been difficult. Um, the only thing that's really difficult is not being able to hug people, you know, not, not being able to embrace people because we are, just, we're, we're, we're a ministry that hug, that hugs. <laughs> and so not being able to hug people is, is been the thing that, that, that kind of, um, you know, wounds me a little bit but as far as uh teaching before as reaching out this is stuff that we always do you know it's it's because again we're not concerned about a building but the building of people and so this is what we've been doing the whole time is building people so the fact that to call in people to check on people that's nothing new for us amen and and so to to do ministry what is nothing new for us this is this is what we do and so for again Discipling ministry, it just this that part, the ministry part hasn't been a challenge. But I do miss uh, giving people a hug. Uh, I do miss you know that 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 FaceTime. But uh, glory to God for for Zoom. We've been able to use that for some of our other other things, and uh, we bless God for it. So let's go ahead and jump in again. This this is going to be part three of that's my attitude. And for those that, that remember, we're coming from 1 Peter uh, chapter 4. God bless you guys. Appreciate you guys popping in. Amen. Amen. Love you. Love you. Love you. Amen. EW3. I see your partner. Amen. Uh, 1 Peter 4. 1 Peter 4. 1 Peter 4. Amen. That's where we're going. Uh, but before I read, I want to remind you, amen, that this, the, the title is That's My Attitude. And so, uh, Let's go ahead and, and, and read this. Amen. Beginning at verse one. It says, therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind. <clears throat> for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lusts of men, but for the will of God. 
For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles. When we walk in lewdness, lust, drunkenness, reveries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. In regard to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation. Speaking evil of you, they will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. We pick it up at verse 7. It says, but the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have fervent love for one another. For love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received the gift, minister it to one another. As good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God. And so I've read to us, amen, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Amen. And so the thing that I would tell us again uh, is that's my attitude. That's my attitude. That's my attitude. And so we're speaking to have a particular type of attitude. God bless you there, uh, 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 BJ. Amen. Uh, and so those, again, I appreciate you guys popping in and being a part. Amen. And so listen, 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 listen. That's my attitude. And so the, the way I begin this is begin, you know, as we read in verse one, knowing that Christ suffered. And so the thing about that's my attitude is that us as believers, again, if you're not a believer, then I ain't even talking to you. Amen. This, this ain't for you right now. But if you a believer, then this is for you. Amen. And so for, for the believers, amen, to understand that, 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 that Christ suffered for us, amen, is to know that we too must suffer. Amen. Is that we're going to suffer some things. Amen. That's why he says to arm yourself. Amen. With this mind. Amen. Arm yourself with this knowing that we too are going to suffer. And so part one was to arm us, you know, uh, uh, that's my attitude. So the attitude that we have is the attitude of suffering. Amen. And then we went on and we read verses three through six and we began to talk about again. That's my attitude. But we have an attitude of wisdom. Amen. We have an attitude of wisdom. And so, again, that's my attitude. I got an attitude of suffering. I have an attitude of wisdom. Amen. And then now it's talking about an attitude of servitude. Amen. And so to understand that we're going to have to serve. Amen. And that we're going to have to be good stewards and servant servants of what servants of suffering. Service of wisdom, amen. And, and so, service of wisdom meaning again, again, to be connected to the word of God, again, because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, amen. And so, because of that fear of the Lord, we're able to express these things. So, that's my attitude. Part three is what we're calling this thing today, amen. And so, Again, just to give a little backdrop, amen, to, to, to catch us up. Again, we talked about suffering in, in, in verse, verse 1 and 2 of, of this thing. And to understand that, that as believers, we have to understand and be okay with suffering. Amen. We have to let that be our attitude, that ha have the mindset that, hey, I'm going to have to go through some things. And even when I'm, 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 I'm right, or we, even when I haven't done anything wrong, amen, to know that, hey, it still don't mean that, hey, that, that, uh, uh, that, I'm going to live happily ever after, amen, but we're going to have to go through some suffering. We're going to have to, because um, again, Christ tells us if we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him, amen, and so the thing that it was telling us is that our lives is but for the will of God, and so what it means is uh, because suffering means I'm going to die to myself and understand that my life is but for the will of God, amen, my life is but for the will of God and not my own. In other words, I don't have to uh, 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 always try to defend my position, defend what I say, defend who I am in the faith, defend, uh, the, defend uh, the gift that he made me to the body. I don't have to. No, 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 no. Whatever, whatever you. OK, glory to God. Amen. And we keep it moving. Amen. I don't I don't I don't I don't have to fight with you to know that, hey, it, it's that's just a part of it. Amen. That's just a part of suffering. They didn't they, they didn't believe Christ was the Christ. <laughs> 
Amen. So we just gonna have to suffer some things. Glory to God. Amen. And then we went on to talk about, amen, the wisdom, amen, and understanding. And I'm, 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 I'm going to read this again. Hallelujah. I'm just going to hit these things again. We picked up in verse three. He says, um, for we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles. When we walk in lewdness, I talked about lewdness, lust, drunkenness, reveries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. And, those, and, and so the thing that, that, that I wanted us to grab from that is that as, as the children of God, amen, as those who are of the way, those who, who, who claim the faith, amen, we have to have an attitude of wisdom. In other words, I can't keep doing what I used to do. At some point, there's a turnaround. At some point, there's a change. And, and, and I don't continue to do the things like the world does, amen? I come out of those things. But, this, but listen to this right here, amen? He says, in verse 4, he says, in regard to these, they think it's strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. In other words, running in the same, uh, uh, in other words, wasting the, the time that God has given us, you know, that we're wasting it, you know, doing crazy stuff. And he said that, that, that they're going to speak evil of you. Now, I really feel, I, I really want to move on, but I, 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 I just got this itch, amen, that I need to further uh, uh, hit that right there, amen, uh, and again, I, I do want to get in this next part about servitude, but again, I, I just need, feel like I need to stimulate that just a little bit more, because when you read this, amen, 1 Peter chapter 4, amen, in this verse 4, amen, it says, in regard to these, they think it's strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. So again, people are going to speak evil of you. So the thing that I want to tell us is, if you if we had to bubble this up, if we had to package it up, amen, just this particular scripture right there, the thing that I would tell us is what Peter is trying to tell us is, get used to being rejected. <laughs> Get used to being rejected. Because I'm telling us, when I look at the church, amen, when I look around and I examine the saints of God, we have, I'm, I'm telling us, rejection has, a, 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 it, it has been like a, uh, Almost like, like a pandemic <laughs> to the church, rejection. And it has caused people, amen, to compromise the gospel. The fear of rejection of because people are speaking evil of, because everybody's not receiving you, amen. It, it, it has a way of rejecting us. Oh, glory to God. Amen. I feel that thing, amen, real strong right there. And listen, the thing that I would tell us is he said, listen, he, he's telling, he said, they're going to speak evil of you when you're no longer wasting time doing the things that, that, that the world is doing. Can I tell you right now that there are preachers, amen, there, there are those, amen, that, that, that say that God has called them, amen, to walk and, and, and to declare from that sacred desk right there, we like to say, that some even got their names on the door, that they have, because of rejection, they've turned to fraternities, <laughs> sororities, and whatever else, amen, because of rejection. Because of rejection, amen. I know people don't like to hear that kind of stuff, but my thing is because of rejection, because because people are speaking in, because people are are, 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 are connecting with us, amen. We, we say, well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and connect with something else, amen, to get the love that I'm missing, amen, to get some brotherhood, to get some sisterhood, amen. Well, God just want me to go over here and minister with them, amen, but he ain't say become a part of them, amen, to be able to minister to them. Glory to God, somebody, amen. And so I give. I know people don't, don't necessarily like this kind of teaching, amen, but I'm just telling us that this that, that's what rejection does to you. Rejection will cause you, amen, to connect with people. Again, they got this thing today I call, they call networking, amen. I'm trying to get back to my point and say that's my attitude, amen. But if you know me, you know I'm going to follow what I believe the Holy Ghost is trying to tell us, amen. But the thing that I, I would tell us is they say networking. Amen. You got to network. You got to be able to work your brand. You got to be able to do this and do that. But see, working your brand up will also have you showing your behind to some people to get some people to recognize you. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. In other words, doing it like the world do it. Hallelujah, somebody. Why? Rejection. Amen. Because you don't want nobody to speak evil of you. Amen. Because you're not doing it like the world does it. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. We don't have enough patience to say, God, I trust you again. Amen. Unless the Lord builds a house, they that labor, labor labor in vain, amen, but we want to try to build it, glory to God, somebody, amen, and so I'm, 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 I'm trying to help us, amen, this thing, Jesus, 
Amen. I'm trying to help us. Hallelujah. Amen. But 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 again, rejection. So he, he's telling us, he, he said, if you really bubble that thing up and look at it, he said, listen, they're going to speak evil of you. Amen. Because you ain't doing what they do. You ain't doing it how they do it. Amen. But we have to be okay with that as the children of God. As the children of God, we have to be fine with being rejected and not wasting time acting like the world. Amen. Still, every time you look around, you got to jump around. You got to, you got to, you know, you got to drink a libation. Or you got to go through this or go through that. But we want to, but we, 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 because of rejection, amen, because of people speaking evil of us, hallelujah, amen, we begin to catch, we, we, we want to be with them, amen. Are we hearing this? Listen, I know, I know, we, we, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, this, this ain't good, you know, we don't, we don't like that, we don't want, it's, but again, I'm obligated to give us the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Peter is telling us, amen, that what, that's, that's what that thing does. That w when people speak evil of you, when, when, when you come out of the world and you ain't doing stuff like the world, amen, it, it, but, but because of rejection and we, we got this strong desire to connect and be, and be with people and be liked, amen, even on social media, amen, I'm telling you, people be saying some stuff that ain't the gospel, that has nothing to do with the word of God, that just sounds good and preacher be thumb up, they be loving it and they be like pre and whatever, but it ain't got nothing to do with the word of God, amen, it ain't got, got nothing to do but, 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 listen, listen but the thing I'm trying to tell us is that it's okay, amen to say stuff, amen, to give a word, amen, to give the word of God amen, and, 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 and give it in a way that's, that, and, listen I'm, I'm telling you, because I love you Amen. But we, we, we begin to take that disagree means I don't love you. That, 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 that correction or the rod of correction means I don't love you. But that's a lie. Amen. He says he chastised those he loved. And he's given some of us a word. Amen. To begin to bring people and cause them to repent and come back to him. But instead, we thumb up. Instead, we, 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 we still like it. Instead, why? We compromise because we don't want people to think e evil of us. Well, they like my page, so I'm going to like their page. Or, anyway, I'm just trying to tell us, amen, that that's what that rejection bug a do to us, amen. That's what that thing about people speaking evil of us a, a, a do to us. But see, he knew. He knew. Amen. That when he came to, to, to that to that one over there, yeah, that one right there. When it came to him, Amen. He may cry in secret because you know his 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 his, his uh, uh, circle is kind of small. Amen. He may cry in secret, but he gonna do what I tell him to do. Amen. He gonna say what I tell him to say. Amen. And glory to God. Amen. And, and because we all want to be liked. We all want people to to to, to respect us and, and even our craft or what God has gifted us. Through. We want people to respect those things. Amen. But when people speak evil of us or when people reject us, we begin to compromise. You want to you want to know another? I, I, I'm gonna tell you. See, when, when, uh, another way we compromise, Amen. When people re, when people are rejecting us, Amen. Is it, uh, is what we'll do, Amen. Because they don't really like you know the ministry, or they don't really like what we even give them a position. <laughs> mm. We even make them ministers. We we make them we we make them deacons. We make them what? Anyway, I, I'm I'm uh, Jesus. I'm trying to help us, amen. And then, it, but, 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 listen, listen. Let us be evil of you. Let us be evil of you. You know, you said, you know, uh, 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 when, when God says, you know, they bring them into you, and God says, this is who they is. You recognize them for who they are, who God says they are. If they don't like it, oh, it's okay. But we have to be in tune with God, amen. We have to know, and I'm, I'm talking to, to leaders right now, but because I'm saying leaders are the one that's compromising, and when leaders compromise, guess who follows? The people follow. And so I'm talking to the church, I'm talking to church leadership, amen. We, we have to make sure, amen, that we be okay with rejection. Amen. We have to understand that that's my attitude. I have to have an attitude and understanding that rejection is just a part of it, that people are going to speak evil of. But the thing I love is what he says after that. The thing he says after that, he says, but they're going to have to give an account. Yes. I'm not going to have to ever give an account for how nobody treated me. Amen. But I will give an account for how I treated somebody. Amen. And so again, they don't have to give an account, not me. I don't have to give an account for them. Amen. I got to give an account for me. And so I'm required to do my part. And my attitude is, amen, I'm going to do what God has called me to do. I'm going to love you, not just because God says I have to love you. I'm going to love you because I know it's the right thing to do. And if God lives in me, God is love. And so therefore, I'm going to demonstrate love. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my very best to demonstrate 
that love. Hallelujah. I'm trying to get off of that so we can get on to this other part. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I felt that thing bubbling down in me. Amen. And you know I can run from right there. Hallelujah. Amen. But maybe for another day. Hallelujah. But I'm telling us that rejection has affected the church. Uh, uh, rejection has plagued the church. Amen. It's so much so that we begin to act and begin to do uh, uh, certain things like the world. Amen. All you got to do is look look at the big twisted head, the haircut, and red carrot top. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Why? We want to look like the world. Amen. We, we don't want to be... Hey, Anyway, I'm moving on. Y'all still with me? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, put my glasses back on. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to verse 7. I'm picking up in verse 7. That's where we're going today. That's my attitude. Verse 7. 1 Peter 4, verse 7. Amen. Part 3. This is what we're picking up right here. Verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And the thing that I, that, that I was telling us is that today, thir the, the, the third part of this is that's my attitude. Amen. We need to have an attitude of servitude. Amen. And that or, or, or stewardship. Amen. And so this has to be our attitude that, hey, I'm called to be a servant. Amen. He say, hey, I, I, I didn't come to be served, but to serve. Amen. And so we have to understand that service and, and, and being a servant is what he's called us to do. Amen. Amen. If anyone want to be the, the, the greatest among you, amen, let him serve. Amen. You let, let, so let, let's serve. Amen. Let's serve. Let's serve. Let's serve. And so he begins this thing. Amen. When we look at Peter, he says, but the end of all things is at hand. And so the, I, I love how he begins this by after he comes out of all this other stuff about suffering and about uh, using some wisdom and coming out from a one uh, uh, out of the world. He says, but the end of all things is at hand. Now, when we look at this, it's easy to say, well, um, what things is he talking about? What, what, what does he mean, the end of all things? And that word all is just that, all things, amen? But when you begin to study and look at kind of uh, the, 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 the backdrop of, or the context of what he's talking about, amen, we know that there that, 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 that used to be sacrifices and all this other stuff for, 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 for sin and for, uh, for atonement and all this, that used to be sacrifices. You say, but hey, the end of that stuff ha ha has come, amen? And, and so, but, but he's also telling us, amen, the way we think, amen, the end the way we think needs to change, amen, the, the, even the end of that, amen, has come to an end, and now let's take it a little further, that even the, 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 the end times, and, and, and because, again, if, if you know, it's, the, the people say, oh, I'm, I'm so sick, I've been hearing, it's the, you know, it's the last days ever since I was a child, I've been, I've been hearing this, the last day, last day, amen, but can I tell you that every day, we'll look closer to the last day, Glory to God, somebody. Amen. So, 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 so don't get too comfortable with saying that, hey, uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I, 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 I get complacent about the last day. Well, I got time. I got time. I got time. Because we already heard. He said, hey, you've wasted enough time. Amen. So with the time that you have, do the best with it. Amen. We read that already. So again, I'm trying to build on this in, in, in a way that can help us understand. And so now, so now, now that he's talking about, hey, the end of all things. And so we know that as this time, as, as, as time is drawing down, amen, he, he says, hey, the, the, this, this, that what we are now is coming to an end. And so as it's coming to an end, you don't want to be caught still doing those other stuff. You don't want to be caught not changing. You don't want to be caught coming from the place that you used to be. Amen. But even a baby grows out of diapers. Amen. Even a, even a baby comes off of milk. Amen. And begin to eat meat at some point. And so for the children of God, we need to have, again, we go from suffering to wisdom. So we got some wisdom now. And now we understand that, hey, that, that, that in, in that wisdom that I'm going to have to Suffer some things, amen. Uh, suffer some things with wisdom, amen. And now to servitude. So, so, so wisdom teaches me now that I need to be serving, amen. And I can't serve if I'm still serving God in mammon, <laughs> amen. We got to pick one, amen. God or mammon. So I can't continue to serve the world. Amen. In, the, in other words, the, the world can't still have my time, they can't still have this body, they can't still have my energy. Amen. I'm going to serve God. Why? My life is but for the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. All this is in the scripture and it's just bringing us right back. Amen. Glory to God. But listen to this now. Here we go again. Hallelujah. He says, but the end of all things is at hand. 
Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And so the thing that he's telling us is that is that we have it. We have to have an attitude, amen, of, 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 of servitude. And can I tell you that prayer, amen, is a way to serve. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. Listen to, listen to what he said. He said, but the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious. Be serious and watchful in your prayers. So, it, so it's letting us know that sometimes, amen, that our prayer ain't serious. Amen. Sometimes we just pray because I'm just used to praying. It's just how I do. Amen. But our prayer is not is not serious. It's not passionate. It's not it's not targeted to any to any area. It just we just all over the place. We 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 just uh, saying a bunch of words to be heard. Amen. And not really uh, serious. Not really uh, uh, watchful about the things that's going on around us. Again, remember he said that all things are coming. To, so what things are coming to an end? So the things that are coming to an end are the things that's going on around us. We need to be. Serious. Serious and watchful and begin to pray and target and hit those areas. Amen. So even our prayer needs to be said. Why? This is a service. Amen. It's, 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 this is how we serve. Amen. While we're here. Amen. Declaring. Amen. That God will be done here in the earth as it is in heaven. Amen. We, we pray to invite God into our situations here in the earth realm. Amen. And so we need to be serious about our prayer. Amen. And so he says be serious and watchful. Be serious and watchful. Amen. So we need to be serious, but uh, sometimes we ain't watching. Sometimes we, uh, uh, sometimes we can be serious and not be watching. Amen. And so one of the questions I like to, I like, I like to ask DMI, I'd be like, hey, what, has, what is the Lord saying? What, 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 what has God said to you today? Amen. Or what is God saying? What do you believe God is doing? Amen. And so again, because we need to be watchful. We need to be listening. Amen. And that way, our prayer, amen, begins to be uh, with some passion. Our, our, our prayer begins to be serious. Why? Because God, God has revealed it. Amen. And, and so we, we're praying that serious thing. Amen. And can I tell you that this is the form of servitude? Amen. Why? We know that Jesus prayed. Amen. Even though he did miracles, he did all that, he prayed. Hallelujah. And so we know that prayer is a part of our life. A prayer is how the believer communicates. In other words, that's how they get on the phone and talk. Amen. Communicate the same. That's how a, a believer talks with God. Amen. That there's a sender and there's a receiver. And then there's a receiver and there's a sender. So there's an exchange. There's a dialogue between us and God. But if we're not seriously praying, amen, can I tell you that even in a conversation, when, 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 when the conversation is not serious, amen, uh, uh, you can be talking to people, you, they, they ain't heard nothing you said. Why? Because they ain't serious. Mm -hmm. Amen. They ain't seriously trying to hear you. <laughs> Amen. Or if you don't understand what, if you don't, if you don't remember nothing they said, then you weren't seriously trying to hear them. Glory to God, somebody. But we need to have an attitude of serve. And so to serve you, amen, I need to be listening to you. Amen. And so as I'm listening, amen, and begin to pray, my, my prayer is serious because I've listened and I've observed, I've watched and know what to pray. Hallelujah. So our prayer needs to be serious. Amen. We need to have an attitude of service, amen, of being a steward, amen, of how to serve, glory to God, somebody, amen, again, I know this ain't, this, this, this ain't, this ain't popular instruction, this ain't necessarily good instruction to some people, amen, because sometimes when we look, well, I'm doing good in that area, well, I'm doing, but we always got some stuff we need to work on, glory to God, amen, that's the kind of God we serve, amen, that, hey, I'm still working on you, Hallelujah. And I'm glad that he ain't finished with me yet. Amen. And I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Glory God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And so again, he says, therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayer. He ain't saying somebody else prayer because sometimes when other people pray, we like, to we, like to, we like to get real deep with somebody. Else. But what about your prayer? Hallelujah, somebody. What about your prayer? Hey, believer, Christian, what about your prayer? Is your prayer serious? Can you pray? Can you get some? Can, can you get through? Amen. And, and again, because 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 prayer is a form of humility. You got to humiliate yourself and to, again, or humble yourself to be able to pray. Amen. And so that prayer humbles us. Amen. It, it, it gets us in position and begin to speak to God and begin to pull on heaven. Amen. That, that, that we can see some things manifest. Amen. But we got to take prayer serious. Amen. Because that's how we serve. That's why some people, they be like, hey, can you pray for me? 
And you be like, yeah, I pray for you. And then you call your pastor. Pastor, can you pray for so-and-so? No, they ask you to pray. They ask you to pray. Hallelujah. Pray seriously. Amen. Amen. Pray. Believe or pray. Hallelujah. We need to have a mindset of servitude. Amen. Servitude. And that's how you serve, believer. Amen. By being able to pray. That's one of the ways. Amen. Being able to pray. Being able to get a prayer through. Amen. Being able to be watchful. And, and because when you're being watchful, people can say one thing. Amen. And you see another thing. And therefore, your prayer can be serious about the, even the thing that they didn't say. <laughs> if we watchful, hallelujah, amen, if we're watchful and we're, we're attentive that we're taking prayer seriously, amen, and even when you tell them in the middle of prayer that God said you need to get your house again, God said you need to come out of that mess or whatever, and, 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 and they reject you, you need to be okay with it. Amen. Because you pray. Amen. Because you're in tune with God. Amen. Because you're you're watching, you pray. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. I, I, I hope we're hearing this today. Come on, somebody say, that's my attitude. That's my attitude. Amen. That's my attitude. And we're still in the same vein. Glory to God. Bless you, apostle. Amen. My apostle there, right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. And so, again, so we pick up, again, 1 Peter chapter 4, he picks up in verse 8. He says, and above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sin. And so, again, we're talking about uh, having, having a mindset, amen, of service, amen, to be a servant, amen, to be a steward, hallelujah, and to be good stewards. And so that's, that's the attitude that we have to have. And he said, and above all things, so he already said that all things will come into an end, but he says, but above all all things. But e even above that, he said, above all things, he said, have fervent. And when we look at that word fervent, amen, we have to understand that this word, amen, fervent, is, is like we have to have a, a earnest, amen, we, a, a, a zeal, amen, a zeal for what? A zeal for love. <laughs> amen. We have to have an earn, we have to earnestly love. Hallelujah, somebody. I love this. Amen. Amen. But listen, he said, and above all things, have fervent love for one another. Can I tell you this? Amen. Is that sometimes, amen, that 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 we we love as we say, uh, oh how I love Jesus. Amen. We love Jesus. Amen. Or we say, amen, uh, I love him because he first loved me. Amen. But see, can, can I tell you, if we have that attitude with people, love people because they first love us or love them because they love us, then we missing it. <laughs> amen. And so I understand why we sing it about the Lord because he did first love us. But can I tell you that people ain't going to always love you first. Amen. But as the believer, we still got to have a, a earnest. We still got to have a zeal to love them. Regardless of how they feel about us, remember, we already talked about rejection, amen, and that people, and that them same people, friends and family, amen, when you're around them, that they're going to talk, that they're going to speak evil of you, amen, because you don't do the same things that they do. Glory to God, somebody, amen. But we need to have an attitude that I'm still going to love you right where you at. I'm still going to love you with your drunk self. I'm still going to love you with your high self, amen. I'm still going to love you with your cussing self, amen. I'm still going to love you. Why? Not just because he commanded me to, but because this is who I am. Because I am his representation here in the earth, and, and God is love. So I'm going to love you right where you're at. Amen. And so, again, I'm responsible for how I love you, not how you love me. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. We have to have a, 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 a zeal about loving people. Amen. About loving one another. Can I tell you, amen, y'all heard me talk about it before, is that it's something, amen, to know even amongst believers. You can be in a room full of believers, amen, and you're talking and you 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 smelling and you tasting in the atmosphere, and you know that people can care less about you. Yes. I'm talking to the church. Now I ain't, I ain't talking to nobody that that, that 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 may not understand. I'm talking to the church. Amen. To be amongst the church, amen. Can I tell you? Amen. And and, and even feel like mm. man. It's cold up in here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. There's something wrong with that. Why? Because we don't have an earnest zeal for love. Amen. We love people according to a, 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 a man's standard. Or we love people, amen, if they patting us on the back or if they lifting us up. Amen. But that's not what it's, what it's all about. Amen. This type of agape love, this type of love, amen, means that, hey, because I'm dead to myself, 
Glory to God. Because I've denied myself. Because my life is but for the will of God. It don't matter how you treat me. I'm going to love you because that's what I'm supposed to do. Amen. And that's the, and, and because that's who I am. I'm going to love you right there. Glory to God. Amen. I hope we're hearing this thing today. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, again, listen to what it says. It says, and above all things, have fervent love for one another. Amen. We're to have that zealous love for one another. But look what it says after that. For love will cover a multitude of sins. For love will cover a multitude of sins. And can I tell it? Because, you know, sometimes we like, we, we like, you know, sometimes, you know, those of us in the faith, especially leadership, we like, we like to quote this scripture, that scripture right there. You know, for, you know, love covers a multitude of sin. And so, uh, but ultimately what, what we begin to explain to people and tell people is that this love that, 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 that the scripture is referring to is because when people are in sin, amen, we just say, just keep on loving them. And that's true. Amen. We're to keep on loving them. It, but, but, but to think that, 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 because we're loving them, that God is pardoned, that God has took, that took away their sin because you, that's the wrong way to think about that scripture. That's not what that's saying. Can I, I'm, again, I'm trying to help us now, but we got to have an attitude of service now. Remember that we're in that vein of, 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 of stewards, of service. And so we have to understand that when, what it's talking about, amen, when it tells us, amen, that love covers a multitude of sin, amen, because again, that love means that, hey, I'm on the back burner. It's not me anymore, amen. But see, but, but now listen, now I need you to catch this, catch this, catch this, catch this. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how you heard it, but I need, I need you to catch this. When it's, second, when it's talking about love covers a multitude of sin, can I tell you that that's really for the one that's loving? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. We, we like, no, 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 no. Listen, because when you love and people wrong you, we have a way of holding grudges. <laughs> We have, a, we have a way of saying, I, I, I forgive you, but I ain't going to forget. But this type of love right here saying, hey, it's going to cover, love is going to cover my grudges. Love is going to make me not, 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 not treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. Love is going to make me uh, 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 not hold a grudge against you and tell you, and whenever I see you, to get angry about you. That's what, that, that's what love covers, amen. So in other words, love stops me from sinning. Love stopped me from hating you because you mistreated me. Love, that, that, that's what is covered. Jesus. Amen. Yeah, I know. Again, I know. <laughs> love covers a multitude of sin. Yeah, it does. Amen. But love, 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 love helps me, amen, to not hold a grudge or to not hate you for treating me the way you treated me. That's what love does. Amen. Because love, that's how love covers. Glory to God. It, it ain't that because you sin that you got a pardon. Come on now. Amen. It, it, it ain't because, hey, it, 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 the, gov the governor signed and you pardon, now you free. No, 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 no. Amen. He already said they going to have to give an account. We read it in the scripture. They going to have to give an account for that. So ain't no pardon. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. And so the thing, so that love that's covering is for us. Amen. Because again, it, it, cause, listen, I'm telling you now, if you holding some grudges, if you holding on to some stuff, if you ain't been able to release some people, if, if you know, yeah, I know they borrowed $20 last week. They keep coming in and saying, they better not come right here no more. I'm just like, li listen, I'm trying to help us. Amen. Listen, it, I ain't giving them nothing. Anybody been there besides me? I've been there. I've been there. I'm tired of this joke asking me the same. And it'll cause you to begin to dislike people. When you see them, you want to go the other way or whatever. I'm telling you, that lets us know that love ain't working. That we ain't being a good steward over that love. Why? Because love covers a multitude of sin. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love will stop you or stop us from holding grudges. Love will stop us from remembering and, and, and continue to go back and, 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 and play on what happened to me last time. Oh, this is how you did me last time. Oh, you ain't got no good reputation. You already... Anyway, we, we're talking about that's my attitude of being a good steward. Amen. Being a good steward of this love. Being a good serve. Being able to serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to help us. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, I'm still moving. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all still with me? Somebody say, that's my attitude. That's my attitude. Amen. Somebody say, love will cover a multitude of sins. <laughs> so love, love will stop us from sinning and, dis and, 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 and disliking people. My wife over there laughing. She laughed. 
But but yeah, love, love when you that love cover will stop you from 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 being angry Amen. at folk. Amen. That done wounded you. It will stop you from being angry with folk uh, or, 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 or hating folk, amen, that mistreat you, amen. One of the amen. things that DMI, they know I, I, I love to say, amen, keep it moving, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Amen. To be able to keep it moving. Even, even, even though people ain't feeling you, even though things ain't, keep it moving. Yeah. Hallelujah. Keep demonstrating the love of God. Amen. Yeah, yeah they miss, yeah, they may have mistreated you. Yeah, they may feel like they they handling you wrong and what. Keep it moving. Amen. Why? God got you. Yeah. And can't nobody repay like God. Amen. Yeah. And I ain't talking about we serve a God that say, sick them, God, sick them. You know they treat. No, 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 no. There's a time in the fullness of time. God and the coach, why? They're going to have to give an account. Just like we're going to have to give an account if we don't let that love cover. Glory to God, somebody. I hope you're getting it. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're moving on. Moving on. Hallelujah. Verse 9. It says, be hospitable to one another without grumbling. Come on. We're talking about serving now. We're talking about serving. We're talking about serving through prayer. If we talk about serving through love. And now we're talking about serving through being hospitable. Amen. It said, be hospitable to one another without grumbling. Amen. And so, so what happens is now that you got that, that 4,000 square foot home, amen, and somebody say, hey, I need a place to stay. Can I rest with you for a while? And, and you'd be like me. You'd be like, well, you got three days. If Jesus got up in three days, that's, you got three days. <laughs> Amen. But we don't be liking folks to invade our space. Hallelujah. Amen. But he says, be hospitable. Be hospitable. In other words, amen, God has blessed us. Amen. We need to be able to be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. And understanding that, hey, there's a reason. God don't, he don't ever just do one thing for one person. Amen. If he does something for one person, amen, trust me, it, 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 it's so that person can do something for somebody else or somebody else, amen, was blessed because he did it for you. Amen. He, he, just, he, he just has a, his multiplication. The way he works is just different like that. Amen. And yeah, we can receive it and say he did it just for me. Amen. We can say it just for me. Amen. Yeah, you know, just, just for me. Amen. But no, But it's bigger than you. Hallelujah. Amen. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. Amen. He always operates bigger. Glory to God. Come on, Jaquela Carr. Sing it. Bigger. Bigger. Amen. <laughs> bigger. He always do big. Bigger. Bigger than that. Hallelujah. Amen. And so when we observe the scripture, follow me now. Let's look at it. He says, be hospitable to one another without grumbling. And so sometimes, amen, we'll allow people in our, in our space, but we be fussing. Amen. We already be like, man, look, 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 man. They don't, they, look, look, look how they did my towels. Look all that. <laughs> look, look, look what they did. Amen. <laughs> Listen, we have a way of murmuring, grumbling. And doing stuff grudgingly, amen? But listen, he says, be hospitable to one another without grumbling. Hallelujah, without grumbling, amen? And so if we're going to be hospitable, amen, which he's calling us to be, we need to do it without grumbling, without grumbling, amen? So uh, again, I'm trying to help us, amen, without grumbling, without, without fussing, amen? Because again, if God is calling us and telling us, listen, he said, listen, listen, beloved, uh, I've blessed you, uh, and, and again, because we're blessed to be a blessing, amen, I've blessed, be hospitable with that which I've given you, amen, that what I've blessed you with, be hospitable, don't do it, don't, don't, don't do it uh, 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 grudgingly, amen, don't do it grumbling, don't do it complaining, amen, and can I tell you, it's the same way, uh, 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 you know, sometimes, amen, we, 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 being hospitable, we invite people to eat, and then we be looking at their plate, <laughs> we be looking at their plate, be like, la, you trying to eat all the food, uh, you trying to drink all the Kool-Aid, <laughs> but be hospitable. Amen. Stop doing it grudgingly. Stop watching people play. <laughs> Amen. Be hospitable. Glory to God. Amen. And don't do it grudgingly. Amen. If you run out of hot dogs, amen, you know you got to go, go buy some more. <laughs> Amen. But would you do it without being 
without being grudging, amen, or without grumbling, hallelujah, amen, that tickled me, glory to God, amen, but be hospitable, amen, I mean that, he's telling us to be hospitable, but being, being hospitable means to serve someone, amen, and you say, well, what do you mean, even Jesus, in, in serving them, he washed their feet, yes. he washed their feet, how humble, how humbling is that? Amen. He washed their feet. And so he's telling us, he ain't asked you to wash nobody's feet. Amen. But he is saying, be hospitable. Amen. Be good to people. Amen. As, 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 as much as in you. Amen. As much as required of you. We like, we like to say, to whom much is given, much is required. And so you got much. Amen. Give much. Hallelujah. Amen. If, if, you, if you only got a little, give much. Amen. Just to make sure you don't think you got a way out. Amen. Still, give much. Amen. Hallelujah. Because there's still somebody that don't have as much as you. So give much. Glory to God. I'm keeping it moving now. First Peter chapter 4, verse 10. He says, as each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And I love this one again. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another. And so we've received the gift, amen. And can I tell you, amen, that sometimes, amen, when people get a gift, some, and again, I'm talking to the church now. I'm talking to the church. Amen. So uh, uh, I, I ain't talking to the sinner, man. I'm, I'm talking to those of us that say that we believe. Amen. And so but, but one thing what happens is, is even when God has gifted us, amen, and, I, and I'm going to say with the, even with the ascension gifts, because I'm a, I'm a, because I'm a prophet, amen, you got, to, you, you got to pay me, amen, to come see you. Or you got to pay me to come minister. You got to, but no, you, you just minister. You a gift. You a gift. You just minister, amen. And if 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 because if, 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 God's gonna bless you, amen. He he's the rewarder, hallelujah, amen. He's the ultimate rewarder. But we want somebody to literally, amen, to pay us, amen. Or or or. But listen, I'm going back to the scripture. Listen, listen to this. As each one has received the gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And so again, we're to minister it as good stewards. Amen. By the manifold grace of God. Amen. Because again, it's God anyway. Amen. And so we, we don't get to say, well, I'm going to use this over here. Or I ain't going to use. But if God has gifted us, we're to minister it to one another. Amen. But what happens is, the sad thing is, we like to say this, my gift. <laughs> my ministry, my this, my that, mine, my, my. No, you minister it. Amen. Uh, we're supposed to minister it to one another. Hallelujah. Amen. It, it, because again, one of the things that, that, that I would tell you that, that, that as a leader, uh, that, that I kind of deal with on a regular basis, amen, is, is ministering to people, amen, because I spend more, I spend more of my time ministering to people that don't go to this ministry than I do, uh, probably the people that go to this ministry. Amen. But I don't get to say, well, you don't go to my ministry. I don't get to minister to you. I, I, go, go see your own pastor. Go, no. He say minister to one another. It, it, it's God's gift. It's him that's gracing you. You just minister. You just serve. Glory to God. So we have to have an attitude of service. Amen. This is for the kingdom. Amen. It's not just about DMI. It's not just about disciple and ministry. It's just not about Apostle Craig. Amen. This is the, the body of Christ. Amen. And so I don't get, we don't get to pick and choose. Amen. How we minister. Amen. I hope we're hearing this. Amen. Because we just serve. We're, we're to serve. Again, we got to have an attitude of service. Amen. And sometimes we say, well, I serve those that serve me. That's how the world do it. Amen. But we're unlike the world. Amen. As he said, we spend enough time as the Gentiles. We're not that way anymore. Amen. We serve. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all still with me? That's my attitude. He says, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And so when we minister it this way, he's telling us that we're, that, that, that we're good stewards when we minister this way. Amen. When we just minister, amen, the gift, whatever God has given us, that's how we minister. I, again, I love how this thing is written. As each one has received the gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Amen. We're to minister our gifts. Whatever God has, it, it can, listen, I'm telling us, see, sometimes we think gift is, is what I'm doing now because, because we're speaking. Amen. But it's, it's, it's more than that. Some of us have been gifted with song. Amen. Some of us have been gifted as musicians. Amen. But what we do, amen, we only minister it in certain places. We only minister it within our denomination. But you're a gift to the body. 
You give to the body. Somebody may need you down the road. Amen. DMI may need you over here. Amen. Amen. But we did, we decide we're gonna stay right there within our little circle, within our little bubble, and we're gonna miss. So, we, but but again, but we're missing the body. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me go a little further. That some there are some that God has gifted. Amen. With with I, I'm telling you, there are some people God has gifted with hugs. There are some people that can hug you and make everything else. But we but they only give it. To people that they want to give it to. They only give a genuine hug, a genuine love. But God has gifted you right there to be able to hug somebody, to break the to, to, to break the yoke that's on their back. But we'll only give it to somebody that smells good. We'll only give it to somebody that's in our circle. Amen. Let me go a little further. There are some people God has gifted financially. Amen. And so when they go to their church, they give and they give and they give and they give. Amen. They, they, they willingly give because they're at their church. Amen. But the, the, the time that they're invited to go some, to somebody else's church, amen, they be, they, they be looking for the dollar or the five dollars. <laughs> amen. But God has gifted you to be a giver. Amen. And so the thing that, again, I'm trying to help us now, that which God has gifted you with, minister it to one another. Amen. So be a, so, so be a gift. Hallelujah, somebody. I know that we don't like this kind of teaching. Amen. But it's, it, it, it's just, it, it is the way it is. We need to have an attitude. Amen. Of servitude. And so we are to minister this gift. Whatever gift God has made us, we're to minister that gift and minister it that way. Hallelujah. Amen. Minister it the, 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 with, with all that's in us. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. I hope we understand it. Hallelujah. Listen. Verse 11. If anyone speaks, let him speak of the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it with all the ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. That's a mouthful. But listen to this. He says, if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. And so, again, as the oracles of God. Amen. And so, again, not the oracles of uh, how Buddha did it. Not the oracles of uh, uh, the Elijah Muhammad teaches us. <laughs> no, but as the oracles of God. Hallelujah. Amen. But in order to speak, the, in, in order to serve with these oracles, we have to know the oracle. In other words, we have to know the word of God. Amen. We, it, again, I talked about earlier, but our life is but for the will of God. What is the will of God? The will of God is God's word. Amen. His word is his will and his will is his word. And so we have to know the word. And, and so when, when we're ministering to people, when we're serving people, amen, when we're ministering, when we're serving, when we're ministering, when we're serving, ministry, servant, ministry, serve, serve, servant, ministry. When we're serving, when we're ministering, amen, we're to give the word of God, amen. amen. I don't get to change the word up to make you feel good, amen. I, I have to give you what thus says the Lord, amen. And, and, and again, and you have to, you, there's a responsibility on you to know that I love you enough to give you the truth. Amen. That I love you enough to tell you that thus says the Lord. Amen. And sometimes that word is a warm, fuzzy, loving type word. But other times that word may be a slap on your back. Amen. Or a slap on your backside. Amen. But but whatever it is. Amen. We, we need to be in a position to say, well, God, I receive it. Amen. Because I know it to be the word of God. Amen. But how do I know if I don't know the word of God? Amen. And so the oracles, so we are to minister the oracles, amen? And so, again, the oracles of God. Once again, if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, as with the ability that God supplies. And so but we, what we do, amen, is when it's time to minister, amen, instead of ministering with the ability that God gave us, amen, we go to Google, <laughs> <laughs> amen. We go to YouTube. Amen. And we say what other people say. Amen. Instead of what God has given us and understanding that, hey, that did, you don't even, that's not you. That ain't it. Mm, mm, mm. And so you can fool some people some of the time. Amen. But there's some people you can't fool none of the time. Amen. And, 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 and you, 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 we see you. Hallelujah. Amen. But see, but if we would just serve, amen, out of your, out of your, uh, out of the grace that God has, has given us, amen, we would just serve right there. Cause see, I can't do it. Like I, I'm, I'm, you already know I'm not articulate. Amen. I don't, I don't have all these, all these fancy words. Amen. I don't, I don't, you know,
know, I stutter, amen, and I'm loud, amen, and I'm loud, amen, because I, I give my opinion with authority. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing. Amen. But I say what I say. I speak loud, amen, oftentimes to stop from stuttering. Glory to God, amen. But I, I, but I bless God. And so, but that's the ability that he's given me to be able to speak the way I speak. And so however he's given it to you, whatever revelation he's given to you, whatever God has, has, has then use that. Use that. Don't be trying to use the way nobody else, nobody else uh, minister their oracles, nobody, the way nobody else men. Minister under your own abilities, amen? It, because if you spend time with God, your abilities, amen, are, are, are going to be your abilities and not anybody else's abilities, amen? Glory to God, somebody. Amen. I can, I can, I can really hang in right there, amen? But I'm going to keep it moving. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies. Amen. He says that in all things, God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And so this thing belongs to God anyway. Amen. And so the best you can do is, is, is to do it. Amen. With what God has given you. Amen. Don't don't use nobody else's stuff and, and, and try to make it your own or whatever and, and say that it's your. But, you know, some some people say some really good stuff. If they get it, you know, put it in your words. Amen. Put it in a way. Amen. You know, I'm, I'm in school, right? You know, I'm taking a few classes here and there. Amen. But when you, when you, if, if you don't do, if you do, if you use a direct quote from somebody else, they call that plagiarism. <laughs> Especially if you don't give them credit for it. Amen. And so we have to give people credit for their work. Amen. So if you're going to be preaching and, 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 and talking about what thus said the Lord and you don't got it from somewhere else, you plagiarize it. Amen. If you stop lying, <laughs> amen. Well, I heard the Lord say, amen. You're gonna say, I, I heard the Lord say, say, I heard so and so say the Lord say, amen. But glory to God. So, the thing again, what I'm trying to get to us today, amen, is that we have an attitude of servitude, amen, that we're to serve, amen. So, again, as believers, this just because God elevates us and because God it, it, it extends our territory, amen, and all these other things, is that we still have a responsibility to serve. And how do we serve? We serve through love, amen. We serve through prayer, amen. We serve through our gifts, glory to God, amen. We serve, amen. We find it right here in the scriptures, how we're to serve. We're to serve by ministering, amen, to one another, by loving one another, amen. Man, well, this is how we serve, and this is how we demonstrate who our Father is. Glory to God, Amen. But we have, but this has to be an attitude that we take on, Amen. Because if we only make it, um, just something that that we do, uh, if, if we don't make it an attitude, we'll only do it sometimes, Amen. We'll be sometimes it, as they call it, Amen. Or we'll be as they call double minded. Amen. Because sometimes you do, sometimes you eat uh, uh, like almond joy. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Amen. But but the thing he's telling us is, when we, but when you have an attitude of this, amen, this is who you are. This is who you become. Amen. How do you know? All you got to do is ask somebody. When, when, when you meet somebody, you be like, oh, oh they just got an attitude. <laughs> How do you know? Because that, that's my experience. They just got an attitude. That, that's just who they are or whatever. But when you got an attitude of suffering, when we have an attitude of the wisdom of God, when we have an attitude, amen. Of, 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 of servitude, amen, it's for the glory of God, as we just read. It's all for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Not for ourselves. Amen? And so, that's my attitude. Amen? Now, again, uh, if you got questions, if you need me to elaborate on anything, amen, I ain't gonna fight with you, you already know, but if you got questions about something, go ahead, you, 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 you can put them in the comment, or you can, uh, uh, you can hit me up on Messenger, whatever, and I'll do my best, amen, to elaborate and to explain to you, hallelujah, amen, in a way that you can understand, I know I laugh, and I talk fast, I talk a lot, Amen. But I, I promise you that it's not without love. It's not because I don't care. And, 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 and again, I, I started this off by saying how difficult these videos are. This is not this is not something easy for me. Amen. But I'm but I, I know how to be obedient and do what God has called me to do. Amen. And so again, so I come into your hearing Sunday after Sunday. Amen. My wife. Amen. Lady J. Amen. Go ahead and wave your hand in front of the camera. Wave your, there she is. <laughs> amen. Amen. But we bless God. Amen. For the opportunity to be in your hearing and even to, to be in your seeing. Hallelujah. Amen. And so again, 
Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. I love you and let this be your attitude. Peace.